starting the day off staining a couple signs. Before. After. What an exciting way to start a day and a video. All right, so it's it's been a minute since I've uploaded last, and things have been busy. Um, I did some uh, tile work in our kitchen. Uh, I put up these little, what do they call those? Arabesque, arabesque tiles. These were handmade tiles. They're made in Mexico, and not one of them was similar to another. I ended up spending about two to three minutes per tile grinding it because so much of the tiles had like extra stuff hanging off of them. And when I would go to lay them down in a grid and I used those tile spacers, would not work. No go. So I did the entire thing just eyeballing it. No spacers, nothing. Turned out pretty good. I ended up making a huge template on a piece of plywood, uh, you know, the exact measurements of the wall, pre-cut everything out here in the garage hook it inside on a piece of plywood, and then I could just install it. And it actually went really well. The installation was smooth, slick as a whistle, and I think the results are fantastic. I'm super stoked with how that turned out. Also, did the struts on the van, sorry, on the Buick, I put new struts on and really easy job. I did have to take it for an alignment though, cause you know, that, that's important. And also when I was done, <laughs> the steering wheel was about, I don't know, 20 degrees out. So I, we got that fixed. And uh, also did get a new freezer. We just went to Costco and bought a big stand-up freezer. That's getting very full now because we live in crazy times. Who knows? Look at all that gray. <laughs> Whose hair is that? So it was a fresh and frosty minus 29 degrees overnight. Got some snow. I think we'll have a chance to, uh, I don't know if there's enough. I got a new snow blower last winter and I never used it. I think we could justify it just for fun. I mean, it's not deep. It's just a little drift. When it's this cold, it's weird because of when it's dead calm, it seems like sounds can really travel. It's a murder of crows. Anyways, I'm gonna burn a little garbage and then we might just fire up the snowboard just for fun. I think what happens is that we were really warm for a while and then our ground gets soft and then it was like kind of snowing and then melting, snowing, melting and then it freezes hard and you know like ice expands. I think that's what happens. Yeah, it is what happens. Like this ground actually kind of gets swollen. That's why I couldn't get this silly thing open. Seriously, come on.
There you go. Always amazes me how hard it is to light gasoline when it's really, really cold. <laughs> Why on earth is it smoking? Oh, that's probably from all the snow that got onto the cardboard. Sending up smoke signals. Help me! This is my favorite part of shoveling snow. Hey, you girl. Are you filming? I am. Oops. Do you want to be on my movie? Your movie? Yes. It's a feature film presentation on YouTube. About what you eat? Yes. It's basically like Instagram, but different. You know, Instagram's just where you post pictures of food. YouTube is where you post videos of food. Yes, and you're interrupting. <laughs> it's called a vlog, Ava Girl. You gotta just take a whole bunch of weird clips and then you put them all together and they might work. And it also is kind of weird watching them eat. Yeah, I know, especially when. I YouTube videos I watch, I never watch people eat. Well, what if they chew with their mouth open? Like... Dead. Park break. Uh, I had a nice little lunch. And uh, right now I'm gonna whip into the city to pick up a new a camera lens. Not a real fancy lens, not a, an expensive lens, but it is a, a lens, a RF lens, so newer mount system. Uh, over the holidays, Christmas, I picked up an EOS R, and I told myself I wasn't going to use it for videos, just photos, just to kind of bring back my love of photography. And, uh, I, I had to try the video capability, and I've, I've got a 50 millimeter, the nifty 50, that's the only lens I have for that camera. I slapped it on, went to take some video, and man, that footage is so unbelievable. So, again, it's super tight, it's a 50, so it's just like, you know, the camera's either gotta be far away, or so I'm getting a 16 millimeter f2.8. Pretty expensive, like a $300 US lens. 400 bucks in Canadian pesos or Venezuelan pesos, but anyways, we're just gonna whip in the city, pick that up, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it works. Look at the beautiful sunshine. What a nice day. home and try this thing out. Yeah, slap up the old. Ah, we don't need no more GoPro footage. All right, so I made it back from the big city. Here is my EOS R 50 millimeter. And uh, this is the 16. I love new lens days. Interesting thing about this is that apparently this is like the exact same size as the 50 in almost every way. They are almost exactly the same, so that's interesting. So let's, uh, let's stick this sucker on. Oh, I love the R. I love this new camera. It is fantastic. 
Originally, I wasn't going to use it for video, you know, just photography, but man, full frame video is something else. Ooh, that's wide. That is nice and wide. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Let's uh, that is nice. This is me holding it at full length. Now the one bummer is it's not stabilized, so it's not gonna look that great like this, but I don't plan on using it stabilized, but just check out the blurry background. I like that. Okay, let's get a tripod. Shuffle a few things around. It's definitely a lot wider than this lens. This lens all the way out. Yeah, that's all the way out. Um, so the idea behind this is that I can have my M50 overhead shooting down here for doing different types of videos where I'm working on something. I mean, come on, it's sitting too low. And then, yeah, I still need to make a, a proper mount for that light, but I like how wide this is, and I think it's gonna be a pretty good image. I wouldn't mind getting a little closer. We'll see, we'll play with it. Interesting looking at the different color variations. I'm gonna have to mess with this camera a little bit just to see what it's about, but I'm excited. I think this is gonna be great. I'm gonna do a little work here to get my, my video set up, set up properly. I have uh, permanently mounted for overhead on the workbench. I got my G7X Mark II, and this one can live here just fine. It'll be great for any shots I need there. And again, I've got uh, a magic arm, it's over there. And I screw it in place so it's really secure and then I can have the M50 overhead and then use this shot for talking face to face. And then this one will be relegated mostly to just vlogging. Whew. A little bit dark. Let me, uh, let me just see, let's turn this. A little bit better. Anyways, I haven't really adjusted any of the settings on this camera yet, so I'm gonna have to go in there and play with them. There's a lot more settings than like my little vlogging camera, but uh, I think this image should be pretty good. Very wide, um, like I'm touching the lens right now and I can still get myself whatever I have here. So I think it's gonna be great. That's kind of what I've been doing lately. I've been, uh, you know, doing some house projects, uh, some sign stuff, a little bit of knife making here and there. Uh, I do have a new, well, it's not a new knife sharpener. TS Prof sent me a knife sharpener that they had previously sent me. It's just a different color. But anyways, I'm gonna do kind of a look at that. I've already reviewed the knife sharpener on my other channel, uh, Simple Life. That will be a video coming out. And uh, yeah, I've got two of the exact same knife sharpener, the TS Prof Cadet. What do you do? Anyways, I hope you guys are doing super good. We are living in crazy times. Um, it takes everything I can not to comment politically about what's going on in Canada. But uh, for those that, I, I don't know what the news is showing, what the media is showing, it's intense. It's kind of a fascinating time to be alive. I trust that you're doing well and that you have peace. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna keep living our lives, being good to one another. It's about all we can do. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.